Hey guys, welcome back to Simi Fresh Video Hub channel. Today we're gonna learn about the SAR of tetracyclines. Well, before discussing the today video, let me tell you what is the basic structure of tetracycline, so that we can derive SAR from the structure itself. So, what is exactly SAR? SAR is something which is relatable to its activity by doing the different modification. Either activity will increases or it will decreases. or it will remain unchanged depending upon the change we do so before discussing the sar of tetracycline let me tell you one thing we are going to discuss the today video in a very systematic way so make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the upcoming concept oriented videos so structure of tetracycline is based on the structure of naphthacin or tetracin but chemically it is octahydronaphthacin it means after adding eight hydrogen atom and doing the various substitution to the naphthacin ring we can obtain and derive the structure of tetracycline and if we see the structure of tetracin it is composed of four rings that is a b c and d and if we want to number the ring we will start from the right hand side of the ring that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 a 6 a and so on Now let's check it out how we will obtain the structure of tetracycline from the ring of tetracin or naphthacin. We add eight hydrogen atom to the first position, fourth position, four a position, fifth position, five a position, sixth position, eleventh position, and twelfth position. And what about the hydroxyl group? We add hydroxyl group at third position, tenth position, twelfth position, and twelfth position. And what about the oxa group? Oxo group it is at the first position and eleventh position, and carboxamide group at only first uh, second position only, and amine is added only at the fourth position. So in this way we will obtain the structure of tetracycline. Here you can see that we got the general structure of tetracycline from the from the naphthacin ring by doing the different substitutions. Guys, now we are capable enough to discuss the point of modification and its effect on the activity. The structure you are seeing is very much similar to the previously discussed structure, except with minor modification. Like at seventh position, R one substitution is there, and second sixth position, R two R three substitution is there, and in fifth position, R four substitution is there. Guys, if we do some modification in the ring, it will lead to following changes. First point is that four linear fused aromatic ring are essential for the activity. That is A, B, C, and D all are essential for the activity. If we omit one of the ring, it will lead to loss of activity. Exactly similar written in the second point, aromatic ring less than four lead to loss of activity. What third point is saying? Ring must be appropriately substituted at each of the carbon atom for the optimum activity. It means all substitution should be in, done in such a way in order to avoid the change in activity fourth point is that d ring need to be aromatic we can't replace it with the aromatic ring or alicyclic ring so d ring need to be aromatic for essential activity and what fifth point is saying fifth point is that e ring should contain a tricarbonyl derived ketone or group at position c1 c2 c3 for the good antibacterial activity let's check it out in the diagram first one is the keto group and second one is the carboxamide group and if we see the third position hydroxyl group all are essential for the good antibacterial activity guys we have already discussed that keto group at first position and hydroxyl group at third position all are essential for the activity and it should be a common feature of a biologically active tetracyclines blocking this system by forming derivative lead to loss of activity it means all the three groups are essential for the good antibacterial activity and if we do some changes at second position of carbon antibacterial activity will diminished as antibacterial activity resides on the carboxamide moiety replacement of carboxamide moiety or dehydration of carboxamide moiety to corresponding nitrile result in the loss of activity here you can see that if we do some modification at second position in the diagram replace it with the rcn group here r is the ring a it will lead to loss of activity see the third and fourth carbon 
डाईमिथाईल अमिनो ग्रुप एट फोर्थ कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप एट थर्ड पोजिशन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जूट्राइन सो वट इज एक्जैक्टली जूट्राइन जूट्राइन इज अ मॉलिक्यूल दैट कंटेन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिवली चार फंक्शनल ग्रुप सो वाई देर इज नीड ऑफ जूट्राइन जूट्राइन इज फॉर्म रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ड्रग इन द बॉडी we see the tenth position that is carbon at tenth position in the aromatic ring it is having a hydroxyl group at tenth position which makes a phenolic moiety as d is having a aromatic ring which is essential for the antibacterial activity this is the eleventh carbon carbonyl moiety is present at the eleventh carbon which is a part of a conjugated keto enol system required for the antibacterial activity If we see in the structure, in the tenth position, eleventh position, twelfth position, first position, form a keto enol system. If we substitute the eleventh position keto group with any other group, it will disturb the keto enol system and it will lead to loss of activity. And if we see the seventh position, here R one group is present. Substitution with the electron withdrawing group with the nitro or halogen group at seventh position. produces most potent of all the tetracyclines in vitro but they are potentially toxic as well as carcinogenic so they are not produced